Uh, you know, this is one of those shows that's a, it's a real quaint. One of my favorite shows because it's always the first one of the, of the year when the fall is falling and the mornings are crisp. And, and there's a lot of artwork in a fairly small area. It's a unique experience because there are so many different forms of art. I always know where I want to go uh, with, an art, uh, with a piece of artwork. I, I don't ever wander aimlessly. And the fact that so many personalities can be observed in the art. Personalities from technique from all over everywhere. I like that. Well, this is called a didgeridoo. It's a ceremonial and storytelling instrument of the Australian Aboriginals. If I see something that's got my name on it that's calling, Ruth, 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 I'm here. I'll go look at it. I've enjoyed it, seeing the art and some wonderful pictures, paintings. Well, every year for the past four years, I've come to the St. James Art Festival to busk. It's sort of a completely different feel from the city itself, you know, from everyday life. And I, I walk out here, it's, it's as if I'm in a different city, but it, it really does bring a nice feel to Louisville. What's interesting is that a lot of people come in and they're not so much interested by the colored side of the art, they're interested in the program on the back. All of this work is based on mathematics, so the images that I create are all created by computer programs that I write. When I run this code, the image that you see is produced on my screen. So I can always tell in my audience who's more geeky than others. The geekies think this is the art <laughs> rather than this. <laughs> this is the reward, to come out and show your work and show people what you've been working on and what all your blood, sweat, and tears went into. So this is what's so much fun.